This is what happens. Brothers and sisters, except the Lord build the house. Are you certain that the right source is building for you? Because before you allow construction on your heart, you must become acquainted with the contractors. If the self-existent and eternal God is not working on you and making repairs, then all of the severe labor that you undertake will only serve to create moral ruin and will result in destruction. No matter the extent of human effort, only God can preserve except the Lord builds the house. Lord, take me. Yeah. Make me whole. I am destroyed. Like Sister Farmer said a few weeks ago in prayer, in Wednesday night prayer service, we cannot even know to give our hearts to God because we are so sinful. We cannot even desire the work to be done. So our first prayer needs to be at night, in the morning, in the evening. Like Daniel, we need to pray three times a day. Lord, take my heart. Control me, take me, make me new, do something with me that I cannot do. If you leave me, where would I go? What would I do? Yeah. But fail and perish and fall under the weight of sin. Brothers and sisters, I want to make an appeal to you this, this morning. The Word of God has the power to save. Yes. It has the power to save. If it can take a man like me, and if any of you know me, and what I was capable of or what I used to do, if it can take a man like me and cleanse me, if the Holy Spirit can come into my life and make my high quality wick burn without being consumed, then what can it do for you? It is all about your faith. It is all about your depth of perception. It is all about you Coming to God saying, Lord, I am here. I can't do the work. I cannot clothe myself physically or spiritually. I cannot feed myself physically or spiritually. I cannot walk without you. I cannot talk without you. I cannot go another day without you. I need you to step in and save me. Catch me because I'm falling. This is what we need to do. No matter where your heart is today. It, is, it cannot be any worse than what God did in the beginning. Come on now. If He could take this waste and this desolation, this desert of nothingness, and create in it an inhabitable world where we live today, if He can do that, then He can take your life. Yeah. He can reconstruct you. He can change you. He can make the fallow ground produce why not wild grapes but he can make it produce grapes of edification grapes that you can eat grapes that you can that are perishable things that he can do with you through the word man cannot understand it you cannot understand it of yourself and if you try to understand it without doing what God has asked you to do you will definitely fail and be like the low quality wick and burn out don't let Satan blow your light out and if he has already burned it out, then you're not here for no reason. You're here tonight, or today rather, because God has called you to be here. So that you can regain your love connection with His Word. Because if we're not in love with the Word, then we're in love with the world. The Bible says to be in the world, but not of the world. Because the world will be destroyed. Do you want to be destroyed? I don't. And by the grace of God, I will not be destroyed. Only through the grace of God, through reading His Word, through spending time with Him, will I not be consumed. What is it that I do? Am I any better than you? No. Because I'm preaching? Is Pastor Farmer or Pastor better than us because he's the preacher every Sabbath? No. What makes him the man that he is, is his connection with God's Word. He was once a broken vessel too. Many of us here who have made this journey across the sea of death into life have been broken vessels. And some of us are still broken and we desire to be healed and we're looking across the ocean looking at those that are saved wishing that it could be us when we don't have to wish. It can be yours. Do you desire it? I'm going to ask anyone that desires to come to the Lord that desires to be healed and made whole, that desires for the Word of God to come and shine a light in their hearts, to stand with me. 
Don't everybody stand. This is a, a direct appeal. Now if it uh, resolves or it deals with everyone, then stand. But you are standing today because you are making a point in your heart that you will no longer kick out the Word of God. That you want the Word of God to take complete control of your life. And that you will no longer kick out the spirit of prophecy. Because you want to help the spirit of prophecy to help you along with the Word yes. to find salvation. You're standing today because you want God to do something for you specifically. Not for your brothers or sisters, your wife or your husband. But you want it done for you. You're standing. You're standing because you know that if you do not give your life to God, if you do not allow the Holy Spirit to consume your wick, you will burn out. That's why you're standing. You're standing because you know that God has called us to stand. And the Bible says that be thou faithful unto death. And even if you die, even if your life is taken from you on this earth, then you shall receive a crown of life in the end. That's why you're standing. You're not standing to look good and to show off your suit. You're not standing to look good and to show off your dress, your earrings, your studs, your makeup. Nothing of that nature will come to stand today. You're standing because you want God to change your life. And if this is the decision that you make by standing, this is what you're telling me. And if you're still sitting down, don't wait for the person next to you to stand. Because if they do, that's for them, not you. Just because my mother stood, does that mean that I'm going to go to heaven riding her coattails? No, sir. No, ma'am. If God would not bend the law for His own Son, why would He bend it for me? I'm a sinner and sick and need God's help in my life. And He has offered His help. Help 101. Sign up now. Father in heaven, we thank You for Spirit, Lord. We thank You for Your grace. Because if it was not for your grace, Lord, I could tell you where I would be. Running down some pointless road to nowhere with my salvation up to me. And I know how that would go. The troubles I would face forever running but losing the race. Were it not for grace. We thank you, Lord, for your grace and for your power. Deliver us from evil, Lord. Put back within us the desire to know you. Break up this hardened ground. In Jesus' name we pray. In thanksgiving. Amen.